All right, let's get to the Ten Commandments. So this is an intro for the Ten Commandments um, and kind of a little bit about three things that we need to know before we delve into the specific commandments. So um, the first thing is what, what is a commandment and why do we have them and why do I even care about it? Okay, so God wants to give us tools to succeed, kind of like any good teacher or any good parent, um, anything that has created something, they want that person or that thing to succeed and to do well. So God has given us some tools to be able to do that. God has given us um, free will to be able to do what we want. God's not like a puppet master that teaches us or got a puppet master that controls our every move. However, we do have free will, um, but God has given us tools in order to be able to live a good life. So we have things like arms and legs and eyes and ears, things like that so that we can survive in the world. But we're also given the ability to think and to dream and imagine and love and hope. All of those are gifts from God. Um, but the big one is God has given us directions on how to live through the Bible, through God's word, um, and also through the things like the 10 commandments, which are laws so that we are able to get along as a society well, and to be able to get along with other people and take care of ourselves. So we kind of have to know where they come from. The very beginning of the Bible, the second book of the Bible is the story of Exodus. And it is the story of Moses leading God's people out of slavery. They were in slavery with Pharaoh, remember that? Uh, and they, they passed through the Red Sea, they got to the other side where they thought was gonna be the promised land, but instead it was the desert and they wandered around for 40 years. Now, during this time, they were a hot mess. They, they were a hot mess because they had no idea how to be. They had been under rule for so long that they had no idea how to live. They didn't have any rules. They didn't have any laws. And so God gave Moses the 10 commandments to kind of say, here's some starting out points on what you can do so that you can serve me, God, well, and so you can serve other people well and live a good life. So it really was a gift to, the, to God's people. All right, the second thing is that it all comes down to loving God and loving others. That's what all 10 commandments boil down to. The first three are all about loving God. And that's what we're gonna spend um, today, tonight working on is loving God and different ways that we're able to do that and ways that God is able to, is God has said to us, here's how to do that. Uh, and it's really about understanding what's important to us and helping us with priorities um, and what we spend our time in and what we spend our resources in. Um, and when we put God first, the others just kind of all fall into place. Um, it really makes it a lot easier to be able to love others when we put God first in our lives. Um, and it really reminds us that God is God and we are not, that we have no God-like abilities, uh, at least I don't, and it, that, that God is the one that is ultimately in control in the most wonderful way possible. And we're not God, we're just not. And it reminds us of that, that God created all of this and we are just here to help with that creation, but we are not the ones that do it. The third thing that we're gonna focus on is the difference between the written law and the spirit of the law. Um, our laws in our world, in America, in, in our world today, are very complex. My brother-in-law and my sister are both attorneys, and it is amazing to me how thick and dense they talk about what laws are. And so we have these long, drawn-out, intricate laws that they don't have in the Bible. Instead, we've gotten this overview of 10 kind of easy to remember things because Moses wasn't able to bring down tons of law books. Moses was able to bring down 10 rules. And so because of that, we need to look at the, what the law says. Um, but we also have to look at the spirit of the law, that there's so much more and it's so much deeper. And that's especially helpful when we think about what it means in our lives today. They're just kind of all encompassing guidelines. So we're gonna look a lot deeper at what each of those are. 
So the next first answer the questions below and then we'll head into the first commandment. 